Dylan Gabriel is a guy the nation has talked a lot about already, so he'll also have loads of talent at receiver and running back. Tez Johnson, Evan Stewart, Noah Whittington, Jordan James. The list goes on forever, Brett, but the changes don't stop with just the new conference. A lot of new faces on this roster. There just seems to be a new level of depth at Oregon this season that we've really never seen before. No, and when you've added 40 new additions to the roster consisting of multiple five, four, and three-star recruits, it definitely feels that way. Kim, we've kind of talked about this all off-season long. Oregon has been very vocal this year about improving the depth of this team, and this year it appears they finally filled that gap, and it's been paying dividends all off-season long. From the offense. I just think it's unique to this year in, in terms of, you know, talent. To the defense. Hey, every single corner. Uh, everybody's talented. Um, everybody's hon honed in on the playbook. Everybody's locked in. And everything in between. Oregon football's 2024 roster is stacked with talent from head to toe. I've never seen like a, a front seven run like that's the ball ever. Like you got Jeff Fossa, Justin Jacobs, Bryce Betcher, Jordan Burch, even the young freshman like Mateo, all those guys coming around just hustling to the ball. It's, it's it's crazy. I'm ready for y'all to see it. After falling short of the college football playoffs last season, head coach Dan Landing and the Oregon coaching staff went into the offseason with a goal in mind. Build a program with depth like never seen before and instill a level of competition that everyone can get behind. Love it. Honestly, I mean, I always like to compete. So, like, when somebody's, like, giving me my best, I, I love to be at that. That's one of the biggest things that we try to work on. On this offseason was really build the chemistry between the guys. You know, having um, Jamari Caldwell with us and then, you know, also bringing in DJ Harmon in with the group. It's a totally different dynamic. That's part of that competitive depth that we talk about, right? I think, you know, Nashad's worked his tail off to put himself in a position to be able to help us, and, as well as some other guys on that interior line. So that gives us an opportunity to figure out what our best lineup is. That team out west is looking mighty different this season. While multiple five-star, four-star, and three-star recruits help, experience on the field is what truly can make the difference. Some of your newcomers have talked about the, the two, two, two sets of groups going at the same time and how yeah. that's different and they've liked it. Have you seen kind of the, the developments of that and the positive impact that it's had in creating more depth? Yeah, I think ultimately you can get better watching other people play football, but you get better when you play football, right? And the more guys we can get on the field playing football, the better we're going to get. The expectations here in Eugene are higher than they've ever been. But for this year's Ducks, the expectations they've placed on themselves are even higher, and they plan on reaching their goals. we got a team that's working really hard. I think we're a completely different team than we were last year, so I don't know what the expectations are. Um, I'm sure they're high. We have higher expectations for ourselves. Reporting in Eugene, Brett Taylor, KZI 9 Sports.